Hey guys, this is Mo for Phone Fight, and today we're doing a phone fight between the HTC My Touch 4G and the HTC G2, both running on the new T-Mobile HSPA Plus network, uh, also considered their 4G network. Both phones were just released within the past 30 days. The My Touch was just released, and the uh, HTC G2 was released in October. Both of these phones are running Android 2.2. Uh, let's start with the hardware differences first, because there's there's so many hardware similarities. I'm going to start with the differences. The MyTouch 4G has a front-facing VGA resolution camera right over here, and it has four it has four physical buttons on the bottom: the Home, Menu, Back, and the Genius button, which is different from the uh, capacitive buttons that are on the G2, and also in different that the Genius button replaces the Search button. And it also has a trackpad on the bottom, as does the G2. The G2 has four capacitive buttons. The Home, Menu, Back, and Search button also has a trackpad on the bottom. Bottoms of the phones are both the same. We both have a microphone on the bottom. On this side, we have one little difference, which is the G2 has a battery cover switch that releases the battery cover, making it easy to get off. Uh, I'm going to admit, you might have heard in my other review that the uh, the My Touch 4G's battery is very hard to take off. It has a shutter button on this uh, on the G2, and it also has on this side the uh, shutter button for the My Touch 4G. However, the My Touch 4G shutter button I found was a lot more responsive and easier to press. Maybe because it's a little bit wider, the uh, G2's uh, shutter button is very thin, and sometimes wasn't as responsive. It might just be me though. It's not a big deal. Uh, on the top we have the lock slash power button on this side whereas the My Touch 4G it's on this side and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on both once again opposite sides no big deal uh, we got the one piece uh, volume up down rocker we do have a three uh, prong pro port right here for uh, docking and we have a USB port right over here both of them towards the side on the side towards the bottom of the phone Aside from the camera setting apart, the uh, biggest difference of these phones comes the keyboard on the G2. The G2's keyboard is probably the biggest physical difference uh, on each of these phones. However, since there is a replacement for a keyboard, i.e. the virtual keyboard, uh, I'm going to have to give the edge physically to the MyTouch 4G. You can always replace a physical keyboard. I'm coming from a line of Blackberries myself. Uh, I always told myself I can never go to an all-touch keyboard. I'm wrong. I was wrong. I could absolutely live without a, a physical keyboard, but it's kind of hard to replace a front-facing camera. So there's a replacement for the physical keyboard. There's not a replacement for the front-facing camera. Like I said, both of these phones are running Android 2.2. However, the G2 is running stock Android 2.2, whereas the MyTouch is running Android 2.2 with an HTC MySense overlay on top. As you see, you have the nice weather animation when you unlock the phone. The G2 is uh, as stock as it gets. This is the way G uh, Google makes the phones before they send them off to the manufacturers, before the manufacturer adds any software on top of the phone. The good thing about having stock uh, Android on your phone is that you're always guaranteed the updates are going to come out and directly to your phone. There's nothing to work out. There's no kinks to work out. Whereas the MyTouch, it does look a lot nicer, and uh, it is my preference. However, you are going to have to wait a little bit longer for those updates to be compatible with your software. The bottom of these phones have a call button, uh, application button. However, the, my, the G2 has a internet browser button on the bottom, a, a permanent fixed uh, layout right there, whereas this one has a faves button on the bottom for your favorite numbers. The G2 is running a 800 MHz MSM 7230 processor, Snapdragon processor, second generation, and the MyTouch 4G is also running a Snapdragon processor, however it's a 1 GHz Snapdragon processor, the 8250. The MyTouch 4G, because it has the HTC Sense, has a few other features that can't be found on stock Android. Uh, they both have seven screen layouts. Uh, the HTC gives you a choice between five and seven screens. And uh, aside from the fact that you can zoom out, which you can do on the G2 also, if you hold down right here, it shows you all your screens. It's not as nice, though, I'm going to admit, as the uh, MyTouch 4G, just because the screens are smaller, and uh, it, you can't really see anything going on on there. Anyways, not that you really would, but it's just the uh, look and just the feel of that pinch to zoom in and out. Uh, it kind of gives it a nice look. When you go into the camera here, on the MyTouch 4G, 
you have a full screen viewfinder which I've always uh, loved on a phone and it also has touch to focus this is something that doesn't come with stock Android it has up here we have to switch between the 720p high definition camcorder and the camera we have the flash auto on off the shutter button the effects button which I like because it does show the different effects before you actually take a picture it gives you an example of how they look over here we have the zoom in and out key accessible very accessible and the volume up down keys also replace the zoom button so if you don't want to use the on screen keyboard in case you're worried about you know covering up the camera lens you can just use the zoom buttons which are the volume buttons the G2 also has a 5 megapixel camera and that button sometimes really gets annoying it has the typical Android 2.2 layout for the camera uh, I feel like this little frame right here is kinda getting dated uh, I didn't like it too much with the Nexus one and I was kinda hoping that they would change it but then again how can they change it if it's absolutely stock from Google uh, you still have your functions here the focus mode uh, GPS on off uh, the white balance camera flash auto on off and the zoom. The thing I don't like too much about the zoom is that while you're about to take a picture you have to actually press this first and then zoom in or zoom out whereas on the My Touch it's easily accessible and it's ready to go and I, I have to stress once again that this uh, camera button is a little difficult sometimes also this phone does not have touch to focus which I was disappointed about and it does not have any type of zoom with the volume keys. Uh, to focus you could just half press on the camera and see it still doesn't even work all the time I just took a picture let's check out the galleries on each of these phones the gallery on the uh, G2 is, is pretty nice it's your typical Android 2.2 gallery uh, it was seen on the Nexus one and also on the Vibrant it's got a nice uh, appearance to it it's something different uh, I wonder how different it is though it's kind of been out for a while now so uh, but it is it is uh, a good looking uh, gallery the gallery on the My Touch H, the My Touch 4G, is your typical uh, layout like this, where it's a list. It shows you on the top all your pictures together, and then down here, if you have it divided on your memory card, it does divide it for you into a list type deal. We'll go into the music player real quick before I finish up this first part of this comparison, and as you see here, you do have a cover flow album art which I did not update my pictures you go to the side and you also have the same type of feature this is real nice I really like this uh, it's, it's something that I believe Android should have worked on from a long time ago the best part about the music player to me is the way that you can control this music from the outside I know I mentioned this in my review before but I am going to admit that this is something that the G2 is definitely lacking. I believe that Google needs to work on this, or uh, Android, or, or whoever. Let's go to a song here, and I'll show you how the playback is on here. No cover flow. You want to go to the next song, you have to just press the forward button. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, because I have it set on a single song let's go back into the music player let's go to songs this time and let's just play a song like that let's go to the next song you have to use the arrows all the time there's no type of cover flow there's no type of uh, special effects when using the music player and unfortunately when you lock the screen there is no controls it really really bugs me uh, coming from a few phones that did have an option to change the song while the screen is locked this one doesn't and it really uh... it's really something that gets annoying after a while and that's why it's very refresh refreshing that it's available on the HTC My Touch 4G right out of the box without having to download any apps for it this has been uh, part one of this uh... phone fight between the My Touch 4G and the My Touch uh, the My Touch 4G I'm sorry and the G2 uh... from T-Mobile uh, I'm going to come out with the second part. I'm going to go in-depth into the browser, and I'm also going to go in-depth with the messaging app and the phone.